think I did this before. Let's do it again. <coughs> anyways, just in case if I already didn't, if I, I don't know, I have so much stuff. But anyways, let's talk about Mario Kart because of that one guy. So Mario Kart and the history of it of, I was introduced with Mario Karts. Which one was first? Was it Game Boy Advance or was it GameCube? I think they both went hand in hand. So I would say most likely it was Mario Kart Super Circuit. And it sucks that I don't have a copy of it. This was when me and the dude that stole my DS were cool. When we were actually we were still kind of friends or we we're getting to the point of being friends instead of being acquaintances. So we had a good fun time that we actually spent a few week a few days or weeks when it came to being on a school bus and we were playing it by link cable <clears throat> yeah that was cool he had the game everyone linked up and we just played on it sadly i wasn't that good so i was just a freaking damn flunky yes i know i just stayed at one of the paths and got lots of freaking items and kept shooting people except for the bastard yes like that's how it worked then Double Dash, I started to get kind of good, but of course, the bastard and his friends was better. And another friend of mine, a friend of mine, we actually tried to beat him. We, we couldn't because, well, <laughs> stupid mafia, man. It's like, yeah, they had three friends, bastard and his two friends or neighborhood friends. I don't know, whatever. And it was just me and my friend just trading the controller back and forth because they freaking had a syndicate going on but yeah i played double dash i enjoyed double dash i eventually got double dash but not complete i'm still trying to get the complete copy but for right now all i got is just two discs i really want to get two complete ones so i can actually keep one for myself of course and give a complete version to a friend of mine that i went to college with because he deserves it. I don't want to give him just a freaking disc and that's it. I would at least like to give him an actual copy of the game. That's what I want to do. I want a copy of the game. He wants a copy of the game. That's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I'm not going to try to actually. Because they're scarce. It's freaking scarce. It's like Mario Kart We Oh, I find so many of those. But when it comes to freaking. Um, hopefully you didn't hear that. But I bet most likely you did. But anyways, when it comes straight down to Mario Kart Double Dash, they're kind of hard to come by. And you have many bastards being like, oh, we're going to ask $40 for it. We're going to ask 30 Oh, we know what we got. And it's like, yeah, that's the sucky part. You know what you got? Idiots go to the game stores instead of being stupid enough to go to pawn shops or even donate in thrift stores. But even in the thrift stores, we'll get siphoned. Sometimes even the pawn shops get siphoned, which means first comes first served and blah, 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 and frick me. Of course, then we have to jump to Mario Kart 64. I was able to finally play Mario Kart 64 and actually touch the 64 when I went to college. And I played Mario Kart 64, but I have to admit, the controllers is still kind of weird. I got used to them now, but it's still kind of weird playing with a Nintendo 64 controller. Do I want to have Mario Kart 64? Kinda. Will I get one ever? No, because it costs so much damn money. My gosh, what the frick? So you gotta find someone who's completely foolish and gives you top, gives you like unbelievable cost for the game at a thrift at a um yard sale or garage sale which again it's gonna be a long time for me to get there yeah so we got that and then i got mario kart wii i got it when it was three years old finally i got a finally got a wii after four years wanting one and finally i got one thanks to getting hit by an old lady thanks old lady for hitting me in 2007 when i was trying to go to a freaking college um prep class or whatever you know so yeah thanks for that it's like yeah i still want to get hit by a damn car right now yeah thanks lady so from that i was able to buy a wii system able to buy, able to buy mario kart wii i was able to buy a 3d a dsi and the rest was kind of history <clears throat> now we get to the real meat and potatoes besides the whole talk about double dash and say i made it to a decent portion but i didn't actually completed it and then when i went to college i eventually completed it within a few years later 
when I finally got the good golden car, I got to have Piranha guy and blah blah blah. Unlocked all the characters and everything. All right, Mario Kart Wii. Well, that was a different story. It was good until they said, "Oh, now we're gonna have the bikes," and the bikes were hard. The bikes were completely fucking damn hard. And I kind of refused to actually be like, "Oh, I refuse to put the Wave Bird in the freaking Wii and actually win that away." But of course, sadly, even to this day, I cannot actually ride a bike on Mario Kart Wii and win. I couldn't complete that, so I was like, "Fuck this crap," and that's why I did. I quit. Yeah, so that's how I quit the first time. So I played it for a few months, and then I said, "I quit." Freak you. <laughs> uh, and then I picked it up again, and well, I got the Wii U, and I actually decided to play it a little bit more. And eventually, I went to go get the GameCube, the Wafer controller, see how well I did on that one. I did pretty good. And well, right now, I actually completed everything, and the only thing I had to do now is just unlocked all the rest of the characters and then we'll be completely and utterly done thank goodness of course we'll have to end the story with let's see Mario Kart DS I actually finished all of it completely I had that game I bought that game with my DS Lite which bastard bastard with who stole it took that and he took the game that was warming in there which was of course Mario Kart DS thank goodness for our dude to actually did something very nice for me a few years ago thank you dude i wish you're still alive but i don't know if you're alive or not so anyways yeah so mario kart ds i actually enjoyed it i enjoyed that so much i wish i could have actually bought the, a mic for it but i didn't buy the mic until like years later like years later so it would have been cool to talk about, talk to people, talking trash with, while actually being online. That would have been freaking awesome. But I never got to. And I tried to actually beat this ghost data that I unlocked with Moo Moo Metal or whatever it was. And I didn't get to because Bastard, who stole it, actually just took it that moment, that point when I was doing it. And well, the rest is history. Mario Kart 7, I did good. I actually I actually got a second hand, but then I got a download code. Thank you again to that guy. And I actually played the whole entire game and I actually got an understanding of it. I beat everything mostly. I just didn't get the stars and everything. And then it's like, oh, in Mario Kart Wii, there's stars and blah, blah, blah. Man, screw it. Okay, I just want to play the game. Screw your damn stars and standards. Screw you. I just want to get all the characters and actually goof off and play you know oh let's see anything else um besides the freaking noise in the background yay um mario kart 8 was good mario kart 8 was fun i mean i didn't finish 200 but it's because i couldn't really be skilled with it i might do it eventually i might i might go head on against it eventually but for right now i kind of have no interest in it I did play um, online with Mario Kart Wii the last few days it was available. I played online in Mario Kart 7 and I played online in Mario Kart 8. Pretty fun. I think that's all that's really need to talk about. I think that's it. Oh good, we have plenty of time to talk more. When it comes to Mario Kart Wii though, I was okay with the Wii Wheel. It was kind of fun to play with it. It's a good gag, but the thing is that when well, you want me to be really serious, you're gonna have to make me, I have to actually put down the Wii Wheel and get a Wave Bird or get the Pro Controller or get the Pro Controller Classic. That's the only way how I actually can truly beat you when it comes to, well, technically I could beat you. I can beat you easily, it's just, well, and I'm trying to be like, oh, I'm so prideful or I'm big ego. I'm just saying I could try to beat you and I could beat you with anything. It's just that if you make me have to do bikes, frick that crap. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you make me do bikes, I'll have to go for the wave bird or go for any controller than that. That's about all that's really need to be said. I did play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I played it all the time at Walmart, or at least I used to. So that that was fun. That was that was good times to be had. Yeah, so it's kind of sucky that when it comes to Mario Kart DS, I can't get back into it because, ugh. And it was kind of funny that I eventually got to the point of where I actually truly understand 
Rainbow Road, which now I don't. The one that really made me I quit was Wario's Gold Mine. That was the sucky part. Wario's Gold Mine was the one that made me say I quit. That was the one that definitely made me freak this because it was so freaking hard. And <laughs> and Rainbow Road, oh my gosh, Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is always the one I'm like, hey, hey, you're gonna try to screw me over. Do it before Rainbow Road. I mean, I'm gonna screw myself over in Rainbow Road. Don't freaking attack me there. And they do. They have no mercy. And a 200 CC when they got that. Holy frick. Oh my gosh. But, well, at least the good news is that it's not too bad. I mean, well, it is. It's like, oh my gosh, the items. And I will have to still say that when it comes to the whole bloopy thing. Yeah, the blooper and the inks you. Mario Kart DS always still have the best thing of where when you actually use the mushroom, it actually just clears off. That was freaking awesome. But anyways, yeah, Mario Kart. I still enjoy Mario Kart. Mario Kart is awesome. It's just that there's just some little hiccups where it's like, oh, come on, man. Seriously. Seriously, man. <laughs> Why in the world are you using a blue shell then use lightning? Yes, it got into the point of where they do combo moves in the later Mario Kart games. My gosh.